What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wally. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Today, we're going to dive into some Patrice O'Neill, where he's going to go in on a feminist. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's a master at what he do. Let's go. With me now, new city president, now new city president, Sonia Osario. She took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to stop, stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio, and also our favorite stand-up comic, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, are ONA next? I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and Elvis didn't lose their job or Imus. It's funny, th this is the thing. I, I, have, I don't know her, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that she has nothing to do with funny. So I'm gonna speak <laughs> as the expert on funny. Funny people should just be left to try to be funny. What if, what if they're not funny? Then you made a mistake, but how many, listen, how many times has an unfunny, how many, F unfunny rape jokes lead to rape. Like so, I don't know how many jokes about rape there are. There's a lot, but your your world is not funny. Your world is uh, <laughs> next next on the big story. <laughs> My world is people trying to be funny. Well, I mean, you you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. I'm a victim. I might lose a toe. But I'm trying to make funny of. I'm trying to make fun of anything I I think mm -hmm. I can make fun of. Sonia. You know. What's happening now is the marketplace okay. is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's, I think the nation is just tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The nation. You know what? We're tired of things that is are just Is this the nation that's paper and you? I'm, really I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and funny. You're speaking <laughs> for the nation or you're speaking for... Yeah, you know why? Because I remember six years ago doing a something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... You think they were trying to be funny? I think now people in Do this country are tired. you think they were trying to be funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they're trying to be funny. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you Why something. are you wow. in that business? I've been to your show once, and it wasn't very funny being a woman. It was in your hilarious. Show, when you talked about... That's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her, and the joke is hilarious. It's called the Angry <laughs> Pirate. And the lady who wrote it in, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant, and anybody who read it laughed because they know what funny... You're not living in the context of funny. You're living All in the these context guys of have, fire. have every right to be as funny as they want, they can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. I'm glad that a lot of women don't have her mindset. There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not talking. You're not listening. talking. You, Sonia, you're not talking and, to who I talk to. And you're to. not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, That's look what at this. It is. The marketplace more is CBS speaking. Radio firings. They've been on. The, they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house, or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is while you're reading that paper. It's the PC cops run amok. Do well, you think Who's she's a PC, PC cop? Of course she is. She's, she has an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real... This is just what she has to say. We are outraged and oh, fired he's, and he's fired an and fired. Fool. Name calling. I'm outraged. I am I'm, outraged. You should, be. you should be. I am a fool. Now, if I called you a fool... I you know what? Word. People are feeling a new sense of entitlement. Who are these to people in this country? Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement Patricia, to Here's what. Decency. Here's my question: How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Go ahead. An attempt to, that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. Don't throw that at me. Well, that, why not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may... Funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. They you know it's funny? Because the host is trying to turn it into a race thing as if he's killing his own race. But in reality... You don't care about that race yourself, my man. This is crazy. Jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. They, you, you don't know if anything is going to be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything funny. Don't you think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny? It's possible, but I've heard them. I've heard them. You've em. heard a funny rape joke? 
Uh, I say a couple. Watch my HBO special. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, Patrice, will, Patrice says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you Wrong. Hit, her in the, hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin <laughs> as she walks around like, argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no. This <laughs> what she got mad at. And she tried to twist the whole story. That's what she was he trying said to say. A violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then. Why are you laughing? She's outraged. It's called <laughs> the donkey punch. It's called humor that she has no You're clue what it is. You have the same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't say just anything on the air. You can say anything you want. It might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should be able to be attempting. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If th the president's wife, John? Why it was it, trying to be funny. All right, Patrice, why aren't I hearing Al Sharpton complain about this thing involving Congress? Because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women. Well, it's involving a very prominent black woman. Well, where was she during, during young black? Everybody has their agenda. I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, excuse me. You but why I'm... am I not hearing from Sharpton? Because it doesn't concern him. It's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda, and it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. If you ask me, he was the first BLM. Hmm, right? Taking people's money. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's oh, representing what? the just the hoe. The nappy headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. Sonia? You know what? Women have been she's abused. Tight publicly in the media for too long and people are tired of it this has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers we're your consumers we don't want to have to avoid everything in the street we don't want to have to worry about what radio station we turn on and there is some really derogatory violent you're going to thing get to all deal your with. information uh, ma'am is second hand from someone making you uh, aware that someone may have said something that you should be upset about it's a shame your constituency the, the people you represent aren't all victims in this matter go. Patricia O'Neill thank it's you very much Sonia Osorio thanks to both of you appreciate mm -hmm. it time for big politics you ask me, homegirl is a difficult one. You know what I'm saying? She she ain't want to see the reality part of it. She's going off of trigger words, trying to trigger other people. That's deep. Oh, man, these are the people that go out and vote. All right, well, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave it in the comments. I always watch. I always listen. All right, later.